colder mm -hmm. as we head into the weekend. In fact, we may be dusting off our snow boots in parts of the area this weekend, especially on Saturday. The system yesterday looked like it was trending a little more out to sea. Today, though, it's come back in a big way, trending westward, and it does bring the chance for snow even around the city and suburbs on Saturday. Let's start off with a look outside right now. We're going to take you up to Bethlehem. It's a beautiful night along Main Street in Bethlehem. Looking good. Gorgeous city, of course, the Christmas city, and it's actually the 80th anniversary of the Moravian Star, which is centered, of course, on the hilltop on the mountaintop outside Bethlehem for all to see. So celebrating a landmark in that city this evening. A great night to be out doing some Christmas shopping as long as you're bundled up in the Christmas city. Checking in with our eyewitness weather watchers. I know a lot of them are snow geeks. They're probably really excited about the potential to see some flakes on Saturday. You can see temperatures across the map here only in the 30s as we check in with Kenneth Martin. He's in Willingboro, 37 degrees at his house, 41 as we move a little further north and check in with Bill. And as we go even further north to Peter Ferron's spot in Lawrenceville, he's at 41 as well. Some photos from our weather watchers showing the skies today. It was a beautiful day, lots of blue sky. It was cold but nice to look at. And Lynn sent this. Zoe helping me size up the weather. There's her weather station where she gets all her info to send to us. Alan showing the beautiful sunset across the area. And we've got another sunset photo from Phil, who also sent us this picture from Chestnut Hill, which is, of course, where we will be tomorrow for Holiday Fest. I'll be at the Morris Arboretum, and Tori will be in Chestnut Hill. So make sure you tune in this time tomorrow for that. Another sunset shot, this one from our live neighborhood network camera. This was just a little bit earlier, but I wanted to show it to you because it's really pretty. 42 degrees in Palmyra capturing that gorgeous sunset that now has come to an end. A couple of snow showers converging on our far northwest suburbs here tonight up across the Lehigh Valley and into the Poconos. A lot of these are fizzling, but notice a few flurries or a stray snow shower here or there. We're getting into that time of the year where the air is cold enough that if we pick up any precipitation, it's likely going to be in the form of snow or at least a mix. And here's what we're watching for the weekend. The system to the south, all this moisture streaming along the coast, and it's going to get far enough west as we head into the weekend to potentially bring some accumulating snow, possibly even around the city, but certainly down the shore. As we head into your Saturday, the area of low pressure stays offshore, but notice how the moisture does back in. And with enough cold air draining in from the north, you will see a band of snow, especially down the shore, but potential light snow even around Philadelphia and the suburbs. So enough cold air in place, even with the low offshore, it throws enough moisture back into the cold that accumulation is possible, especially to the south and east. Here are some preliminary thoughts on this brush of snow. Lehigh Valley and the Poconos likely not to see any accumulation, mainly flurries and snow showers. Around the city and the northwest suburbs, light snow, possibly even a coating on the grass and Delaware and South Jersey, especially down the shore, the best chance for up to three inches. And again, especially on the grass, the road surface and even the soil temperatures are warm. So you're going to have a lot of melting on contact, but it could come down heavily enough Saturday afternoon that a few spots may see some decent accumulations along the coast. Eyewitness weather seven day forecast again, that chance for snow Saturday, Sunday, maybe a stray flurry. Monday's not bad, but then another chance for rain and snow, mainly north on Tuesday. Next Wednesday is downright frigid. Mm -hmm. Jessica Nicole, back to you. Katie.